and I'll be back in a couple minutes. And we're back. Thanks. I got a little pop-up in the bottom right of my screen offering a free upgrade to Windows 10. I'm not sure if it would cause any trouble for Final Fantasy XIV. I might do that. Hey, Sanguine. How's it going, man? Good seeing you. As always, Could probably switch out Gala, although Aqua Breath might be pretty good here. If only he would go first. I almost would rather have Blue Magic as a backup power than have to actually have a Blue Mage in the party. So I think let's, I'll just keep him as Blue Mage for a while until he learns the ability to do Blue Magic. Kind of see where he's going to take you, I think. It's tough, though. Ferris hits like a truck. It's coming along well. Uh, I am level 41. So we'll be doing a level 41 dungeon tomorrow night. Um, depending on how quickly we can get up to 44, it'd be great if we could do the 44 dungeon as well. sure if it ever actually becomes the case, but it would be nice to reach a point where we don't have to do any grinding in between dungeons. We can just do dungeon, 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 dungeon. Which I think is kind of what happens at 50. Might have to stop to get gear every now and then, but other than that. Cool. I get to see another... We, at least, even though we had to do a little bit of grinding on stream, we've at least had one blind play of a dungeon in every every session so far, so that's cool. If we make it to 44, I think there's another primal fight somebody mentioned to me, so... That'd be cool. The Titan one was super cool. Like, average eye level, so, like, that would entail running old dungeons until we find the proper loot. Or, I guess, doing hunts to get welfare loot.
Gotcha. Are the raids part of the main story quest? I think our interest right now, I mean, we'll, once we beat the main story quest, we'll go ahead and start doing raids and stuff too, but the focus for now is to just clear the main story quest so that we can do Ishgard stuff, Heavensward stuff. Another way to put it, are, is the raid content required to be cleared in order to finish the main story and qualify for Heavensward? If so, that's fine. Well, I mean, we're going to do it either way, but I'm trying to get a sense in my head. Like Gala to just take all these out, just pass everyone else's turn, just have them defend. It wasn't until Final Fantasy VI they added the ability to skip somebody's turn. Well, not skip, but like go to someone else who was also ready to go. Pretty awesome. So they, they relate to the main story, but they're not part of the main story quest line. What I was looking to grasp. Cool. I'm not kidding around, I'm glad we saved when we got outside. Probably doesn't work on him. Try Frog Song, why not? Nope. Worth a try. And we wipe. That's okay, we got to save right when we popped out here. Use a tent this time. Ouch. We did a guild hest off stream when we were leveling up that uh, required eight people for the first time, so that was interesting. Experience what you and Plurawing were talking about, where most people who have already cleared content tend to want to go back and just zerg it rather than do the mechanics. So it wasn't a very good learning experience since it was an eight man fight that they just decided to zerg. Oh, that's awesome, Sanguine! Cool. Yeah, like I said, um, when I we would do sessions with friends, so we'd have a bunch of people over. I put up a bunch of patterns on the screen so everyone could work on them at the same time. Um, and our, our like wives and girlfriends made fun of us, so we called it war beating. <laughs> Getting together to do arts and crafts. War beating. That's super cool. What'd you guys make? Make sure if they're picking up beads that they're getting them on that Cool Stuff for Kids site. And they should probably grab, if they can stop at the container store or a similar place, get a cool, uh, convenient way to store them. Ruined City. That Cursed Earth song.
cool. Sounds like it was fun too. Yeah, it's a good one to do with people over. You can help each other out. Usually there's one person who's particularly good at or not afraid of ironing. You can have one person do all the ironing. It's convenient. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Tycoon around in this dungeon, this area. There it is. Father? Apparently not. Ooh. The only Harvest Moon game I've liked is Harvest Moon 1 for the Super Nintendo, but. I mean, they could still make it awesome. Butts is just passed out. I never played Harvest Moon 64. Oh god, I just saw the thing about iOS and Android. Ugh. Uh, I don't know, man. Mobile ba games are super popular in Asia, particularly in Japan. I think it's going to be bad for gaming as a whole. Do Harvest Moon 64 if we do another Nintendo 64 day. I forgot about this song, this song's pretty sweet. Similar to the Magitech Factory Devil's Lab from Final Fantasy 6. Yeah. Mobile games don't bother me if they're just that. If they're their own genre of like, you know, Candy Crush or Angry Birds, okay, fine. Hey, Sindari, welcome. I don't know what it is, like, I feel the problem is that I can't give you a logical reason for why. Mobile games get to me. <laughs> it's mostly just a feeling, and I don't like having feelings like that. I need to think of a way either to justify it or get over myself, I think. Maybe it's the inconsistency of the platform? I don't know. It's like, why do I have a problem with mobile games but not with PC games? It should be the same argument. Yeah, it's probably the microtransaction thing. That's that is a problem. I think there's a way to do that tastefully. We needed those two guys here. Yeah. I guess if the game is completely playable, with all the content being accessible in a reasonable amount of time to someone who doesn't spend money, I'm okay with that. Example would be buying cards in Hearthstone, I think. 
is a reasonable way to solve for it because you can do well in that game without having spent money on packs or even just spending money on packs roughly equal to the, the cost of a game that wasn't free, you know? This has the stink of a place with the secret passage. Well, maybe not. Maybe I have to like fall down into that. Hey d -Rock, welcome back. I think game developers should be able to find a way to earn money for their craft that's more immune towards piracy, which is one of the importance. Look at the stationery in the room to the right. Who would have thought to check that corner? Always look. Check the pot. There he is. Thanks, Frog Bro. Did not beat Okami yet. Six down, four right. Really? Did I not already do this? Maybe I already did it. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I must have just already done it. Huh. Alright. Did not beat Okami, you still got a ways to go in that, I think. Check all the areas around here. Yeah, I think it was just that switch that we already hit. It's weird. Maybe the switch isn't supposed to be displayed. <laughs> right, Kami? I worry that there is something else there, though, that I missed, but... It was so cleverly camouflaged, exactly. Another more different ship. Different ship hype! Go in there. Hey, Methlos, how's it going? Oh, man! Not just any different ship. Oh, how convenient. Mm-hmm. Zanguin understands it. Most people wouldn't have even seen a button. I can see the code. Don't even see the code. It's blonde, brunette, redhead. Brunette. I love this concept of an ancient civilization that's more technologically advanced than our own. So I ripped it off from my D&D game. <laughs> I 
<laughs> good movie, first one anyway. And the Animatrix is pretty good. Right, Kami? <laughs> Good movie if you uh, had canon the original reason for the machines, uh, like harvesting people. They're not harvesting them for battery power. It's what Hollywood made them change it to is for mass CPU power, which makes more sense. Like no audiences won't understand that concept. It's too highbrow for them. They get Duracell. Big uh, organic parallel processor made more, way more sense. Although, really, if you watch the Animatrix, it seems more like they've made the Matrix because they felt bad for the humans. And they wanted to, you know, give them something. They kind of shot that to pieces with the, the later Matrix movies. boss. Oh, really? Flying crab scorpion thing. Let's attack. Okay, that takes a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna go with Bolt. See how wrong I am here in a sec. Try an Aqua Rake. Aqua Lung. For the shot. It might be water immune, but... It's not bad. So that always brings you down a little health. Cool. Should be or is? I guess it's too late now, but that's okay. Need that Bolt 2 sword, man. Magic Knight OP. Alright, this is our sixth vehicle. Like, maybe ten hours into the game. Exodus. Crystal of Earth. Interesting. I'm sure I get another chance to get it. Games of Blue Mages tend to have a enemy near the end of the game who has almost all of the Blue Magic abilities. You can get them from if you missed any. Way faster than my other modes of transport. Um, I think the Earth Crystal. Well, clearly it has to be in the place that I couldn't have gotten to with any of this other stuff. Not here, because that's inaccessible entirely. Stay at the inn, look around for places we haven't been to yet, buy some shit, maybe get some tents would be good. Tents are comparatively cheap in this game. Oh well, it make me go broke. Oh really? Well, thank you for checking. Appreciate that. Let's just systematically hit all the plus signs. So, you know the one up there is the meteor, so that's nothing new. Uh, the one here is a town that we've already been to. This is the Here Mountain, the dragon. 
This is the Wind Temple. This is Butts' hometown. We've already been there. This is the last Earth Stone that's sealing Exodus. Another town right there. I think this is Chocobo Cave. Goblin Cave, rather. This is Tycoon Castle and the Tycoon Meteor. So that's not new. Northwest. Ah, cool burger. Gotcha. Karnak. Nothing new there. This is where we got that Bard spell and Rama in our party. We just go back to the ancient library. Like that's a place where shit be happening. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh man. Cool. It's a thing we run around in. We could explore uh, the cave here a little bit further. We didn't get very far into it. Really. Let's try coming in from this side. So yeah. Isn't that the ruined town, though? They're okay. Oh shit. Alright, Lena, there's your 5 HP back. Beastmaster! Let's run. We need to be able to cheese him to kill him. Oh, I missed a chest. We'll go back for it. Shooty kid. Nope. I'm <laughs> making that mistake again. There we go. Hey, Kami, do you know if uh, there's expected to be any compatibility issues between Windows 10 and Final Fantasy 14? I just got my little pop-up in the bottom right corner telling me I can upgrade to Windows 10 for free. I don't want to do it if it's going to cause problems. Lone Wolf! Because we set him free earlier. See what happens, game? I definitely prefer the system of having everyone run away rather than having the separate runaway checks. Oh, I get it. It's an interesting idea. Um, I'll do this the dumb way. That works fine. Okay. I know that Windows 7 is fine as far as compatibility. I'm sure that's high on their list. I guess I was pretty good at, like, making every other um, Windows update quite good. Windows version. I'm 
98 was good, 2000 was trash. SP was good, Vista was trash, 7 was good, and 8 a lot of people didn't like because it was a touch interface and there wasn't really a way to opt out of it. I will do burner. Try not to play anything in, without streaming it lately. Um, the only exception is like crafting and gathering in Final Fantasy XIV. I don't know how many people want to sit and watch me do that at length. Got the level 47 botanist, which makes me some kind of masochist. in here just from running around. You able to ignore it? Like are you able to return it to the older interface? Okay, I wanna go the other way. Oh shit. That's cool, I think I can see it through there. If I can do classic, then I'll do it. Cool, Burner, you get your fat chocobo. <laughs> Let me know when you're uh, all set up in game. I'll shoot you a free company invite. Nice, Kami. Yeah, I'm about a 15 second boot or so on Windows 7 with an SSD. But I'm sure it's even more efficient. I've heard good things about the speed and quality of Windows 8. Nice. Collector's Edition's totes worth it for the fat chocobo. SSDs are where it's at, man. I have a uh, Final Fantasy 14 installed in my SSD. Helps a lot with load times. You'll notice if you watch a stream, uh, I usually pop in before Apex. And I think Apex has it installed in SSD too, but still. Matt does not, so he'll be a minute or so behind us. Briefly, I had Diablo 3 installed on a RAM disk. There was a window in Diablo 3 where the correct way to play the game wasn't to play the game, but it was to do the Rift It Forward thing. And typically the person who joined Rift It Forward last was the one who had to pay the keystones in order to get the items. Uh, so I had, like, enough extra RAM in my computer to make a RAM disk, which is even faster than SSD, and installed Diablo on it so I would load into maps faster. Still do this. So do it right. I have to find out how to open that door. No encounters would be really nice. Fortunately, they removed the ability to rift the fort from the game because it was comparable to the auction house. It was like, this is a more efficient way to play. Hey, Amy. How's it going? Nope. I'm good, Shepard. Yeah, go for it. Thank you for asking. Mm. There's some other way to get out of here, I think. 
don't think I've abandoned my airship. Complete. Cool. <laughs> Shepard. second save just in case I screwed up and can't get back in there, but I think I can. I just gotta figure out what the button presses are. It's not the end of the world right now that I'm stuck, so I'm not gonna ask for any hints just yet because me running around trying to figure it out is gonna get me a bunch of experience and AVP. We're behind on anyway, so... Temporarily a white mage so that you get life. Life. Let me switch you back to blue mage. Oops. Blue mage and game. Okay. Ow. Mars can wear this ferris at least. Dorks to an outsider. Rad dudes and ladies. I think dude is a multi gender term these days. God, I don't really know how this thing works. <laughs> Nice, Ryan. Whenever Andrea publishes a paper, since it's so public, she gets this... You get weird emails from all these kind of quack scientists saying, I would like to collaborate with you. People in China and Russia. Connoisseur of fine games. Everyone's a dork in their own way, right? Like, there's some people who are super nerdy about... There we go. Some people who are super nerdy about sports. I know everything there is to know about football. Like, just like what you like and be passionate about it. Has he ever gotten a, a hook, Andrea? Like, so you know other people that you work with who gets the same emails from this guy? I didn't think you meant, like, one specific guy, but, like, you know, you get all kinds of spam emails whenever you publish something. Almost, like, auto-generated. multiple different people. Hmm. <laughs> 
Nice. Double dork. Oh man, be a dork about everything. Well, okay, so what was it? Nerd. A nerd is someone who is extremely interested in some specific field and has lots of knowledge about it. A geek is someone who's just generally technically proficient. And a dork is someone who's socially inept. I believe is the agreed upon nomenclature. Asian American, please. So you're a double nerd. And possibly also a geek. Kami's a geek because he does tech support. I'm a geek because I do unofficial tech support. You know, you've achieved the Trinity. Dorkner geek. What'd you find, Andrew? It doesn't really matter, but <laughs> I've heard people argue about this. Another important thing about being a nerd is that there has to be someone who's nerdier than you in order for the hierarchy to survive. Like, if you play video games, at least you're not as nerdy as people who play D&D. play D&D, at least you're not as nerdy as LARPers. If you LARP, at least you're not as nerdy as Star Trek LARPers. If you're a Star Trek LARPer, at least you're not as nerdy as a Star Trek furry LARPer, and so on. I don't think it's possible to be at the bottom of that barrel. Alright, that's what we were going for with Galif. Let's make him a red mage. Blue magic access. Sounds good, Ginger. Let me know if you need anything from me to help. Um, let's make you a white mage just to res somebody. Switch you back. So Andrea is going to Rome for work, and the thought is she's gonna get half a vacation and go out there too. Take some time off. That'd be nice. Mystic Knight? Double Grip. Heladage. Trekkie Furry Lipers. Yeah, I think so, Kami. Yeah, go for it, Burner. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, Kami. <laughs> a circle, not a tower. Yeah, there we go, got some AP out of that. Go rest in town. Whoops, didn't do that. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the flow chart that I was referencing. I just didn't remember where it was. It ends up working out, though. At least I'm not one of those people. I gotta go back to Crescent Island, maybe? I don't know. I'll try the Ancient Library first. It seems like a catch-all. Go here if you don't know what the hell to do, place. That is a good philosophy, Kami. Very adult philosophy. stuff to buy from 
our coal and then we get a little extra money. Hey Delm, welcome. People are haters, man. Just how they do. Where haven't we been yet? This might get the award for Final Fantasy with the most vehicles. Check out Crescent Island. Pretty sure I was stuck not knowing that I could do this when I played this the first time. Yeah, that's a good point, Andrea. If people are being shitty or making their kids shitty, then then it suddenly becomes our problem, right? But if it's just affecting only them, then. Adamantium. Oh yeah, what's your plot, Galef? Sounds good, dude, let's do it. On it. Let's me expect a boss fight where there wasn't one before. Saving my game more often than is strictly necessary because wiping sucks. <laughs> Galef is actually Buzz Buzz. Final Fantasy V is a prequel to Earthbound. Super shifty. Yep, you got it, Kami. That's why she won't take my last name, because she's one of the first authors, and she's A, and if she went to Z, Zeno, she'd be last author. <laughs> among other reasons. I don't give a shit, it's not important. <laughs> Like this guy is adamant to me, but truly it's an adamant toast. He's weak to ice rather than thunder, it's surprising. Try switching. So my last name is not a first name, I don't know anybody named Zeno. Albert totally is, though. Ow! Ow! Um... Both use waters to attack. Have, uh, Galef and Butts heal on their turn. I should switch, that's okay.
You say it however you like. I used to correct people when I was a young child, and now I don't care. So I had someone who was very upset when I told them that. I was like, yeah, you just, just say whatever you want. And they're like, no, how do you say it? I'm like, it, it, it really doesn't matter. Like, I'll know what you're saying. I'm the only one whose last name starts with a Z. I'm like, oh my god, just tell me how you say it. Like, no. Okay, fine, I say Zeno, but... <laughs> I really don't care. Um... In theory, Kami, it shouldn't be important, but you know how human beings are, right? Like, she would normally be first author if she's the one that did most of the work on the paper. But beyond that, if multiple people did the same amount of work, it's nice to see that she's first. Oh no, I got you, D-Rock. If everyone was cool and fair and even, it wouldn't matter, but... I mean, even if you think about it, if you, like, see a list of six names and it's like... Contact one of these people for questions, you're probably just going to start with the first person. Which might open you to more connections. Nice, Ryan. It's good to not care. Having a healthy level of not giving a shit is part of being a healthy adult. <laughs> Be chill. Don't let stuff get to you. Party members are so sleepy. Alright, so we got our adamantium. Let's go, our adamantite. Go talk to Sid. Lay it down for him. How are we doing on... Holy shit. Oh, okay. He's... Sure. It's the maximum level of Red Mage. So... Perhaps it would make sense to... Well, no, I just... Let's just go balls deep in him being a Red Mage. I think that's a good idea. Maybe we'll switch to White Mage if we learn new magic, but... It'd be cool to get the final Red Mage ability. I don't remember what it is, but I think it's good. That's good. Put it, Kami. <laughs> this is not something that you learn to do. You just don't have the energy for it anymore. Let's pause before you react in anger and think. Is there anything positive going to come from this? The answer is no. Don't do it. If you really need to vent, yell into your pillow or something. use of uh, speeding up and slowing down the music in this game. I don't think they really do that in Final Fantasy VI, the soundtrack. VI is a much darker game, though. Right. Prob, Sid. Ben, can you not? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I think that's a. Uh, this is interesting. We have talked about this before. Um, 
it's a lot faster to animate existing stories than it is to write them from scratch, so it was very fast that uh, the Dragon Ball Z anime caught up on the manga. And there wasn't enough content anymore, so they had to add a lot of filler in. It wasn't there originally. There's a... I think it's released in the US version of Dragon Ball called Dragon Ball Kai. That's Dragon Ball Z, but with all of the filler removed. So they like... They get to the Frieza fight in something like 20 episodes. It's very reasonable. Yeah, that, I think that's a, probably a better way to handle it. I was actually about to mention that there are some animes that when they have to, when they run into that filler problem where they don't have enough source material to continue, they just make an entire season that's nothing but filler. Whereas Dragon Ball handled it with occasionally having an episode in the middle of the season that was filler, which I don't think is the correct way to do it. This boss. It is very likely that Ferris. Oh my god. Hey, Galef, it's on you, buddy. Soul's basically like Demi 3, Gravity 3, Gravaga. Doesn't surprise me, it's a blue spell. Let me roll out of here. Heal somewhere. Yeah, I guess I could equip the heal sap on somebody. Does that uh does that wake him up too? Count as a physical hit? Could switch uh butts over to a white mage for a little bit. Now, I seem to recall, and this may be incorrect, but I seem to recall that if you equip blue as a command, it actually also gives you learning at the same time. But that might be completely wrong. If someone can let me know how that works. Do I actually have to have learning equipped, or be a blue mage, or can I equip blue instead? Got red and blue mage, purple mage. That's convenient. Cool beans. Call. 
That was a nasty fight. They have immunity to charm would be awesome. Need her to not be confused. Love for butts to get confused. You'll just hit them and heal them. do this almost all day, guys. Ow. Reese's Cups? Yes. Big fan of both varieties. The little ones... You ever, like, save the foil when you're eating Reese's Cups? So that you can, like, make a big foil ball? I have. It's tremendous. That's That's the one I'm looking for right there. Great. You have to keep killing one, going down, resting, killing one, going down, resting, and so on. You guys are not easy. You're not easy. Well, that accusation is false. A schedule update. In an hour and five minutes, we're going to be switching to this new game called Axiom Verge. It came out a couple weeks ago. It's to be Metroidvania styled. Excited to check it out. I know just about nothing about it. I looked at some of the screenshots on Steam, but that's the extent of it. Sure. Okay, cool. Thank you. You keep using missile, just don't use your rocket punch in the ass attack. Just try to get one of them taken out. Just speed ahead to murdering one of them. Fine, you keep doing that. Yep, keep at it. So one is not so great if she's not using her ninja scrolls. Good healing on that thing, man. It's like a cure two for free. safe, rest in after each of those attempts. Least favorite character. I don't know. The character you're supposed to hate is hilarious, so...
<laughs> Great. Buy some more of those scrolls so you can find the town that sells them again. Pretty good deal for what you're spending. Peel, I think, is a Suna. Go pick up another uh, set of some Thunder Scrolls. Those are pretty awesome. Terra Enigma, welcome. Thanks for letting me bail out, game. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's go find the town that has lightning scrolls. Also maybe some new upgrades for other characters. This is the town that has mostly rare items. Bobby's pretty irritating. I like how, like, they were trying to get Dragon Ball Z to be taken seriously, and it's like the characters are all named after vegetables, or like Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. And... <laughs> right, too few? Made some advances. This is the only version I've played, and actually I'm not playing the GBA version because the sound chip on it's pretty bad. Um, the original SNES sound chip is much better, and no one's done a really acceptable fix for it yet, like they have for some of the other ones. I'm not be using these anytime soon. Another Coral Sword, but expensive. Uh, okay with what I have now. What I really want are some Ninja Scrolls, but I don't remember where I bought them from in the first place. Right. Yeah, everyone in their family is named after underpants of some kind. And I don't mean the emulator in general, I mean that the GBA versions of Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI don't have as high quality of a sound chip as the Super Nintendo. So they try. Um, we did When we did Final Fantasy VI on stream, we used the GBA version, just because I wanted to see the new translation. Um, and in that one, Someone actually has gone to the trouble of making both a palette fix uh, and a sound fix, so we applied both of those. Oh, good call, Terranigma. Terranigma for the win, indeed. Saving me some running around. Uh, I might need the... let's see if I can land somewhere in the corner here. Emma. Also, what's up, Two Few Secrets? How's it going? It's not a huge deal, but I'm a, I'm a, like, Nobuo Uematsu nerd, so I like, I want to hear the music as close to how it was originally intended as possible. Most games, I wouldn't really care. Okay, cool. One of these guys. Aha! Good looking out. All right, that's great. A whole bunch of thunder scrolls. Mm. Yeah, that's a fair argument. I ended up not doing much of the post-game stuff in Final Fantasy VI. Um, I got Cactuar and uh, Gilgamesh. They added as two new summons. So I did that, but I didn't do like the. The Dragon's Den and the other bonus dungeons. I might come back to that at like 
Final Fantasy VI anniversary or something like that. Gotcha. Right. Mm hmm. I might come back to it. I've mentioned before the. Okay, so the main focus of this channel is play through every awesome game that's ever been made at least once, because there are so many awesome games you can't possibly get to them in a single lifetime. I'm going to try to keep it to just once for most games, but some games are so awesome they warrant multiple playthroughs. Final Fantasy V is probably one of those. As is sick, well, most of the Final Fantasy series, with the exception of eight. Um, so we could play five again and do the GBA version. We'll probably do six again and do the, uh, uh, what is it? I can never remember the name. There's this cool difficulty increasing ROM hack that came out pretty recently. It'll give us a reason to play six again. Yeah, we need to see the GBA version with the different translation second quest playthrough. Alright, so I think we're ready to go. Let me make sure we're saved. I think I just did, but be obsessive about it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Not a big fan of 8. Um, we talk about this a lot on the channel. 8's <laughs> eight's, uh, not a bad game, it's just not a very good Final Fantasy. Um, 1, 2, the first disc of 8 is actually quite good. Um, it's fairly self-consistent, it, it's reasonable. It's not until around disc 2 or 3 that it starts to get surreal and not very good. Um, I appreciate that Sakaguchi and team decided to take a risk with the draw system in 8. You know, it's it's good for them to innovate, and they've, often their innovations are successful, as with the job system, the materia system is pretty cool, um, the item ability system in 9 is quite good, the sphere grid is even pretty fun, but the it, it is a risk, and we call it a risk for a reason, it means it can fail sometimes, and I think that 8's uh, draw system did fail. It ended up not being interesting, instead grindy. Oh, awesome, Too Few Secrets. Yeah, I'm excited to try out this FF6 patch. Bravest Warriors or something like that? There's some brave in it. We'll do 8 on stream eventually, just probably not more than once. <laughs> do it with a very critical eye. See if we can find something to salvage. It's really, it's it's not a, a garbage, horrible game. It just doesn't really stand up to the quality of the rest of the series, I think. And 8 had some ideas that required iteration, right? Two shock anti flash. It sounds like this is going to be bad. No, it wasn't so bad. For example, they were like, okay, so we had this problem in 7 with summon animations. They were really awesome and epic, but like they took forever. And if you wanted to do an endgame fight, it was irritating to have to watch these long animations. And 8's solution to that was, well, let's give you something to do while the long animation is happening with the, the boost system. That was actually worse, because now they made the animations really long and you were stressed out during the whole thing instead of just enjoying it. Uh, so I think that 9's iteration on that concept of let's fix the summon animation problem, in 9 the way they handled it was just having an option to occasionally show a short version of it. Usually you'd see the short version, the first time you summon them you'd see the full one, and occasionally it would show you the long one after that. I think that's the correct way to handle it. Vanish Doom! In six. He's gonna let us pop out and save again. Yeah, so in the GBA version of Final Fantasy VI, we beat that a couple weeks ago. Um, they renamed Doom to Banish. So it would have been the Vanish Banish combo. But they also fixed the combo, so it doesn't work anymore. Hell yeah, so check this check this out. This is pretty rad. Kami's wife is an awesome artist. I guess you give the backstory before I link it. Um, we are playing Final Fantasy VI. We were trying to farm Cactuars. We were trying to cast the Death Spell, which has maybe a 60% chance of success. Mog was the one casting it, and he was successful like 20 times in a row. So I said, you got to have someone who can draw, draw a picture of Mog as Death Incarnate, because that's what he is in this playthrough of the game. 
and Kami's wife produced this amazing work of art that I am almost certainly going to have placed on a t-shirt and wear it on stream every now and then because it's super cool. Mog is death incarnate. Right. Oh, you're right. Exxon banished. My bad. Yeah, if you kill Doomgaze that way, the battle script doesn't finish and you don't get the Bahamut materia. I believe there's a similar problem with the Katana Soul guy. The guy who drops something for Cyan in his dream is that if you kill him with that method, then his death script doesn't actually play out. So you, you win, the game moves forward, but you don't get any drops. Right. These dudes doing down here. I get that they're just monsters, but they're like they're like dudes. Probably switch uh, butts back over to Red Mage. That might be right. I think you're right. I think it is the offering. So you really don't want to use that against him. Well, let's just switch him. Don't really need her anymore. So I have blind in quotes too few secrets. Um, I did play this game when it came out, or no, not when it came, obviously not when it came out. I was well, it was 1998, so about 17 years ago. I just played Final Fantasy VII, and I was perplexed that there was a two and a three, and then there was suddenly a seven. So around that time, I got internet access uh, for the first time as a middle school kid, maybe even like an elementary school kid. Anyway, I found out about emulation, about this translated ROM, and I played it. But being 17 years ago, I remember very little from the game. Um, so me going from dungeon to dungeon, I don't really know what I'm doing. I remember some of the key things, like Ferris being a girl, and uh, something that's going to happen very close to the end game. That's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, no, nothing's, nothing's being actively spoiled for me. Let's see. God, I'm stoked for Gilgamesh. I've mentioned before my all-time favorite special boss song in Final Fantasy is Clash on the Big Bridge. Let's see. Let's give her passages for a sec. That's what's happening here. Yeah. So I figured it was appropriate since the last time I played it was on the hacked Super Nintendo ROM that I should do the same now. Maybe we'll check out the GBA version in the future. Ninja OP. Nice. You just have Gale up as Red Mage until he gets Red 2 and we can switch him back to something else. Yeah, Gilgamesh is my man. Yep, and it's it's the same Gilgamesh too, or at least that's my interpretation. He's in the GBA version of 6. He's an optional boss in 12. He's in 14 now. I love Gilgamesh. He's the best. Okay, this is the only way to go. Yeah, no, it's canon that it's the same Gilgamesh. It's really cool. Without spoiling Final Fantasy V, I know we've got folks in chat who haven't seen Final Fantasy V before. Um, the fact that it's canon that it's the same Gilgamesh when he shows up, it will make sense as part of this game. Yep. Scalapore! <laughs> Apparently, the Gilgamesh fight in Final Fantasy XIV includes Excalibur. I'm pretty stoked. I got kind of turned off of MMOs for a while, but I enjoy Final Fantasy, and 
after its relaunch, it seems that 14 is, is doing it right. It's being lead developed by a guy who's a huge fan of the franchise, and it has lots of fan service, the Final Fantasy fans throughout it. There, there is a Sid in every game, but there's not the Sid in every game. Gilgamesh is actually the same character. Every Final Fantasy takes place in a different universe, unless if it has like a numbered sequel like Ten Two or Lightning Returns. Um, Gilgamesh breaks that rule for a reason that will make sense when we beat the game. We're pretty close to beating the game. This reminds me of the uh, Tower of Babel. Final Fantasy IV. Fairly long, lots of chests. Oh my god. Plenty of tents, so we can just come back and use them here. Ah, Galef's good to go. Let's make him a... something different. How about a hunter? With red magic. Yep, Biggs and Wedge are Star Wars. Mog is just a common name for a Moogle. In 7, they don't actually call them Moogles. It may have been a mistranslation. They call them Mogs. In the uh, Gold Saucer minigame. We've talked before about how just about every Final Fantasy includes a pendant of some kind. This one has the two pendants that uh, Ferris and Lena have. Six is the one that uh, Terra wears. Seven, there's Eris's white materia. Pendant's actually pretty important to the plot of Final Fantasy VIII. Garnet has one in nine. F5 drops as Bravely Default. Um, well, Bravely Default has the advantage of being a more recent game, so there's been more iteration. I think they're they're both very good. I would like to see more of what Bravely Default does. It lets you equip multiple abilities from each job, but I'd even like to see that expanded further than it already is. Like, there's so many cool abilities that opportunity costs is what ends up limiting you. You know, you're just like, okay, well, in Final Fantasy V, I can only equip one ability, so I'm only going to equip the best ability, even though there's so many of them that are cool. Um, I think they can find a way to let you equip more of them without making it crazy OP. Just make make the abilities more situational. They kind of get around that by having the the mime and the freelancer class in, in this one inherit all the passives of all the other jobs that you've mastered. That's a cool idea, but it doesn't actually take effect unless you bother to grind out the jobs that you want. Uh, two. Speaking of Bravely Default, you hype for Bravely Second. They announced it's going to be formally released in the West sometime in 2016. The announcement came out yesterday. Hey, Dean, today. be a same world kind of thing. I'm always saying it to be different universes with similar things in common. But I could see it working either way. Uh, I don't think it's... Tenting would be excessive at this point. Right. So we fought Kefka. Go for it, Kami. Thank you for asking. I'm losing my mind without dash, but I need that passage ability. One of the advantages of the PS1 and GBA version, I think everyone has like their default move speed is the dash speed, and then if you equip dash on top of that, it's doubled. It's like with the sprint shoes and six for the GBA. Is that a? Uh, that looks like Golden Sun, right?
<laughs> Kefka. More like Kappa. Kefka's the best. Big fan. Great villain. Actually feel something toward him. Can't really feel anything toward the Final Fantasy IV or IX final bosses because they sort of come out of nowhere. Um, five, you're dealing with Exodus the whole game, so you can feel something towards Exodus. Uh, Kafka, good reason to hate him. Don't really have any good reason to hate Sephiroth. Maybe admire Sephiroth. Ultimicia follows the pattern of coming out of nowhere. She's very much an OBT dubs villain. Hey guys, let's defeat Ultimicia by doing exactly what she wants us to do. Uh, the final boss of 10, who I won't spoil, is actually pretty cool. Both, like, the actual fight boss is interesting, and you have reason to be invested in it, as well as the, like, actually difficult non-scripted non-mechanics battle after that. That's a good way to put it. Too few. If Joker was God, what would happen? So my favorite thing about Kefka is that six... You probably passed the statute of limitations now. It's like, who can watch Star Wars these days without knowing that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father? Similarly, who can play Final Fantasy VI without knowing that Kefka is the final villain? It's too bad, um, because as a kid, when I played it, I didn't know that. I was like, okay, so Emperor Gestal is clearly the main bad guy. So it blew my mind. Blew my mind when, you know, he's not. <laughs> it's this, like, clown joke villain that I keep running into. Oops. Oh yeah, you should knock it out, Ternigo. We'll be playing it on stream eventually. It fulfills the qualification of awesome game. That I'd like to play through at least once on stream with everybody. Yeah, it has a it has a very good ending. Ten is a game that I was not impressed with when I played the first time as a kid, and then each time I played it again, I appreciated it more. It's just very different. Ten is the only Final Fantasy that feels just remarkably Asian. It has a very Eastern feel to the uh, the world and the mythos. Whereas the rest of them kind of have this, like, either sci-fi or Victorian, English, medieval, gothic fantasy feel. Yeah, exactly, Too Few Secrets, that's a perfect way to describe it. I have to rip that off. Kafka being the final boss of Final Fantasy VI is like Gilgamesh becoming Hitler. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get an item that gives it to you, Ryan. It's a job quest they're gonna send you on. You have to equip it. It's called a monk stone. It's in the bottom right of your equipment inventory. Get it, frog. I'll have to fix him after this. Not the OG frog. Here, uh, Ryan, click this link, this will tell you where you gotta go to unlock it. Oh, man. Might have to tent soon. Well, let's take care of that first. We bought these main kisses. Yeah, the frog victory dance is pretty great.
save point. Is it worth tenting yet? Probably not. Next time, we'll be close to out of MP. Tents are like a less expensive out of combat ether. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Start being more economical with those. He has to equip animals to use it. Try it. Like other actions, he just gets for free. Hey, Flare Wing. How you been? What? Some of my animal friends. What you got? Mugu Mugu? Way to go, Galif. Not a great introduction to animal friends. Peace squirrels! Gotcha, gotcha. Hear that? Dragoon is Lancer 30... Marauder 15? Cool, Flurwing. Andrew and I have to give that show another chance. Just go straight? No. There's a long way to have to walk back. Can we throw on dash for this? Okay with it, it just means we're gonna get a whole bunch of experience and ability points, which we need. It's gonna take butts a while to master Red Mage, but I think that's where I want him to be. It's a very convenient job to have leveled up. What's the final ability that Red Mage unlocks in this one? Is it like dual cast or something crazy like that? historically been linked with Red Mage. You could probably Google it, uh, Burner. Google Final Fantasy XIV Dragoon. Yeah, 30 Lancer, 15 Marauder. Let me Google that for you, Link. <laughs> it's a funny site if you haven't used it before. Since you're I think we're going to be able to do the 41 dungeon tomorrow night. Then maybe also the 44 dungeon, depending on how far along we get after that. I understand that Northern Thanalan is the place to go to get experience now. There's a fate there that's really, really good. Ancient Sword. Full moon actually better, I might just equip both of them and put her in the back if it is. It's not well, it's good enough to put her in the back. I mean, jeez. I think you actually want him to have a mithril. It's 
this guardian any better? Do the guardian. Ancient. Get you back to coral. Cool. Everyone's looking great. <laughs> Alright, Andrea. Happy to. Yeah, she's in a pregame it. For a while there, Andrea has been... Oh, cool. It's a... Hydra, but it's a Hydra. Or in this game, the dragons are Hughes. <laughs> Andrea gets pretty nasty headaches when she uh, drinks, and so as a result hasn't really had drinks professionally in a while. Recently discovered that Jin doesn't give her headaches, so she's gonna get back on that train. Nice. <laughs> Flarewing, I just saw you need to do a 29 inch vertical in real life. <laughs> to unlock Dragoon, you gotta do a 360 kickflip double alley. No sweat. Tim Hortons. Andrea, Kami, and uh, Sanguine are both Canadians, so they enjoy Timmy Ho Ho's, which we do not have in California. We used to in Columbus, Ohio. Everybody has a better national anthem in the U.S., especially the Soviets. The Soviets have the best national anthem. If you haven't heard it, you should Google it. It sounds sweet as hell. <laughs> I was like, hey, our flag's surviving a shelling. The ice cap dough, yeah. I don't even have the metric system, what the hell? I have to use a bullshit adult mnemonic to know Celsius because I don't have an intuition for it. We use standard, motherfucker, and we have the audacity to call it standard. I guess the, the correct thing is imperial. Oh, nice, too few. What's, uh, where do you get... Celestriad? Come on, animals! What do they usually call it, Sanguine? Do they say standard? The right way? <laughs> it's such a stupid system of measurement. Like, why don't we do base 10? No, let's not do that. Let's have some things that convert to 3, 6, 12. We'll just make shit up. How many feet are in a mile? It's like 5,375 or some stupid number. How many meters are in a kilometer? Oh, I don't know. Oh shit, I should try to steal White Wind from this thing. Do I have an ability to make the enemy work for me unlocked yet? Because if I do, I think I'm going to try to fight one of these guys and get them to use White Wind on me. Time's not base 10, but we tried. <laughs> Slurring. It's true. Now, if you Google, if you read, there's a Wikipedia article. They tried to standardize time, and 
update measurement to a base 10, but it just it wasn't happening. People are way too entrenched for that. Interesting. Too few. <laughs> at least in America, everything's hard, at least. You don't get babied on easy things and then suddenly get surprised with something hard. I like your way of thinking, Andrew. Um, can the mediator control enemies to make them use abilities on me? Because if so, I will change Galef to one. Well, let me just look. Now oh, it's catch. Take it back to Cubit soon. How can I go about making this enemy use White Wind on me? Maybe I can try charming it. I do have that as power. have it any other way, Kami. Precise number of rods to the hog shed that you want. Maybe we can charm it. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Use white wind. Use white wind. No, don't do that. That's the opposite of the thing I want you to do. Wait, is that a for real measurement? Use white wind. Use white wind. Use white wind. No, not that. At least he didn't move himself in the battle. There it is! Alright! Woo! Try to go back and save, since learning that can be kind of a pain in the butt. You could be kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, Hog's head! I thought it was Hogshed. Makes more sense. There's a casting time on a Thunder Scroll. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, we'll see. Didn't he translate Tonberry as Pug? That's why I was excited to play Final Fantasy VI. Although this isn't a Wolsey translation, this is a fan translation. I think that Wolsey is actually involved in the Final Fantasy V for the GBA and the PS1. It's not really, really bad, but there was rumor before it was announced that, they, that he renamed Gilgamesh Gargamel. Nice, too few. Acres per fortnight.
I like the idea of acres per fortnight. White Wind is almost too good of a skill not to have available all the time, so I might change somebody into a purple mage. Maybe I'll have Galef on the ready with blue magic. Schedule update. In 20 minutes, we're going to be switching to a new game that came out a couple weeks ago called Axiom Verge. Heard very good things about. It is a Metroidvania game, which is all that you need to tell me to sell me on something. I can a white mage with blue magic access, maybe? Seems good. Yeah, I'll be doing Super Metroid as well. Probably sooner rather than later. We just beat Metroid Prime a couple weeks ago. Once we beat Okami, I'll be subbing in Okami for Metroid Prime 2. After we beat Metroid Prime 2, well, I could do Metroid Prime 3, and then we'll go into Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion, and uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Zero Mission's a great game. I think it is probably the best remake of all time. Can't off the top of the dome think of a game that is competitive with Zero Mission as a better remake. Probably give Galef the healing staff and move uh, him to the front. Okay, how much does. Maybe he should just be a blue mage. It seems excessive for him to have white magic too, and also have something else, so what would I give him to sub? So it gives him level 2. Yeah, let's just do that. Sec, I just realized my cat moved my camera a little bit. There we go. Oh, take your time, dear honor. We got all this chest and we will log. called conveyance right there, ladies and gentlemen. Don't walk in the holes. Remind me to move butts to the front row after this battle, if you would. Keep forgetting. Butts is his name. Batus. I do. Listen to me and uh, Apex go on and on about conveyance in games. It's it's a really cool concept. Slash, go watch um, Ego Raptors video, Sequelitis, about Mega Man X. Which is a great, great, great example of conveyance used well. It's important 
Not only in game design, it's just most obvious in game design. Boots. <laughs> yeah, Terra is better simply because you have Terra and Celeste, so you have Earth and Heaven. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna say Aerith until I die. Games can tell me it's Aerith all they want. And they have a nice list of places they can shove it. I ain't doing this Ramu thing, it's Rama. Remove the H if you want me to say Ramu. Rake is pretty great, but it's also super expensive. It's gonna heal him, so let's not do that. Goblin Punch, which is a free full damage hit from the back row. Not great, though. Areth? Aretha? Eris just wants that R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Damn it! Damn it, Bobby! It's Ezuna, Ezuna, instead of Ezuna. I heard that one. <laughs> King of the Hill is such a great show. The voice of Bobby Hill, she was on Adventure Time recently. Who did she play? Oh, she played Gunter in the uh, the Evergreen episode, which is a really great one. It's Bobby Hill. S. S. Una? Ugh. Uh, i say S. Una. Propane and propane accessories. Hey, okay, okay. Well. So I believe White Wind heals you for the amount of health you currently have. Great if you have a party m and your party members are taking lots of damage, but not so great if you're just trying to heal yourself, as we just witnessed. This futile attempt to heal himself up there. Had a King of the Hill to the rotation. We go to bed at night. It's a good show. Good life lessons. You can see why the King of the Hill and uh, Simpsons creators hate Family Guy so much. Family Guy is funny. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's. Uh, I like compare it to video games. Mindless requires less work. You don't have to actually write a story if you just do like a clip show, basically. Really? Oh, the DS remake has voice acting? We're done. 
4 is going to have to be a second quest game. I'm going to have to play it twice, because I want to play it with the original sprites, but I also have never seen the DS remake, so I'd like to. So, rather than just picking one, I'll just do it twice. It's fair. Meteo, to the meteor. Now you know something's crazy. There's two save points in the dungeon. This is like this game's version of the Tower of Babel. <laughs> Family Guy is hit or miss, but it's hit or miss by design. I think is the way people who make um, professional comedy cartoons with stories dislike it. Because they basically they get for free what uh, shows like Futurama have to work hard for. Now, Cecil, I've always said Cecil. I guess you could be Cecil if you're like a really insufferable British person. <laughs> I think it was uh, Cecil B. DeMille. Hey, cat, how's it going, man? Probably just not have butts attack, huh? Playing some more Final Fantasy XIV with Cat yesterday. A grand old time. <laughs> uh, passages? Don't need no stinking passages. Some more of those scrolls I can. Pretty sure the Hydra is mistranslated. It should just say Hydra, not Hayudora, which is like the Japanese romanization of Hydra. Eventually, I'm gonna remember to move butts to the front of the row. Shit. Okay. Linda's ninja garb is pretty sweet looking. You're pretty sweet looking. Every time. It's got my autopilot. Eight minutes for checking out this new game, Axiom Verge, Metroidvania style game. Came out recently. I think we're gonna go save one more time before we do that. Though. I'm gonna go ahead and why not? Let's. Fight this boss, and then we'll get to the next save point after that and switch over to Axiom. Well, that's the Hydra. Ha! Huh. Interesting stuff. Oh, 
Oh god. Okay. He has reflect. Good to know. Nice. It's basically like Gravaga. Aw, oh, lame, D-Rock. That sucks. He would have had to have actually hit us in order for us to learn that. Oh yeah, that is a lot nastier than it usually is. Do tents remove... let's see. Well, I guess I have to remove it either way. Where is it dented, D-Rock? Oh, so it did remove poison. Oh, you're gonna keep it in the package. Later, Sanguine. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you later. I don't think we're going to get to this bug because of the rate of random encounters. I'm just going to run back to the save point and we'll boot up Axiom Bridge. I might need to dick around with my settings a little bit to get it to work anyway, so I'll give myself a couple minutes to do that. Because of uh, him saying penguins instead of sanguine. That seems really weird, but I know where my wife is coming from. <laughs> Alright, cool. So let me, uh,